morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's so great to be back here at Lackland Air Force Base at the 59th Medical Wing. This was my first duty station, and it's my honor and privilege to be back here as your commander. I'm excited to see all the changes that have occurred and looking forward to being a part of the changes to come. Today, I'm going to share with you some of my leadership philosophy, the things I value, what I expect of you, and what you can expect from me. <coughs> I'm going to use the word ethics as a mnemonic for the things that I value. Ethics is a system of moral principles, and regardless of your own ethical beliefs, serves as a useful foundation for a discussion on values. E is for excellence. Every one of you plays an integral part to the mission. No matter how small or how far removed your mission may seem from the bigger picture. Sometimes it's hard to see how taking vital signs or documenting an electronic medical record fits into the Air Force's mission to fly, fight, and win in air, space, and cyberspace. It can even be difficult to see how this fits into the wing mission, developing warrior medics through patient-centered care. Rather than trying to convince you how important you are to the overall mission, I encourage you to be the very best at your piece of the mission. Learn everything you can about your specific job. Become an expert. Be proud of what you do. When it's time to move up and move on, teach your successor everything you know so they can step in where you left off and do the job even better. Excellence in all we do. It's one of our core values. It's who we are. It's what we do. T is for trust and teamwork. As a commander, I have been granted authority, but I know that to be an effective leader, I must earn your trust. To earn trust, a leader needs to be genuine, consistent, fair, and honest. A leader should foster an environment that makes everyone feel safe and secure so that they trust not only the leader, but trust each other. Because a team is not just a group of people who work together. A team is a group of people who trust each other. And once earned, I will hold that trust in the highest regard. For trust is the glue that holds a team together. H is for health. It's easy to take for granted our health and ability until it's taken away by injury or illness. As airmen, it's our duty to remain fit to fight. And as medics, it's our duty to ensure a medically ready force. Thus, it's our responsibility to eat right and exercise, not just to pass a fitness test, but for life and to set the right example for our patients. I is for integrity, another one of our core values and probably the core value in my mind. Integrity can be defined as doing the right thing even when no one's looking. It's not always easy. Outside influences challenge us. When faced with a decision that just doesn't feel right, pause to really think through the risk and rewards of every possible choice. We won't always get it right. Mistakes happen often when we have the best of intentions. But a person of integrity will take responsibility for those mistakes. Problems don't get better with time. If something goes wrong, tell your supervisor early and offer solutions. C is for communication. Communication up, down, and across the organization is paramount. Communication helps ensure strategic alignment within the organization and all the way up to the Air Force level. Communication with people builds relationships. Purposeful communication can help minimize rumors and, often, and solidify teamwork. Finally, S is for selfless service. The third Air Force core value, service before self. Regardless of why you signed up for the military, we are a service organization. We are the 1% of the population who stepped up to protect and defend our country and our freedoms. We live every day prepared to serve the needs of the Air Force. For some, this means uprooting our families every couple of years for a new assignment. For others, it means leaving them far behind to deploy the far reaches of the world. 
and then there are a few who pay the ultimate sacrifice with their lives. Even if never directly involved in combat, by doing the job the Air Force asks you to do, no matter how small or how big, your service is important. Excellence, trust in teamwork, health, integrity, communication, and selfless service. <clears throat> These are the things I value and are the foundation of what I expect from you. I expect responsibility and accountability. I expect each of you to be a problem solver, not just a messenger. I expect you to have pride in what you bring to the mission. I expect you to take care of your women and treat everyone with dignity and respect. I expect that you will uphold our core values, integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. You can expect the same from me. I will work every day to become a better leader. I will communicate and work to build relationships. I will stay true to my word, and I will work to earn your trust. I will support the team and advocate for the resources we need to maintain a medically ready force. I will treat you all with respect, and I will hold you accountable when necessary. I will strive to create a well-organized and welcoming environment that fosters teamwork, professional development, and warrior ethos.